So we are going to make actually out of that group prices, we're going to do something else with that now too. So I talked about the matrix, which has a number of rows and it has a number of columns, but they all have to be of the same type. Remember that. So we're going to go in. Here. Um, so I'm showing an example of a matrix in here. So we have our fruit prices um, and this is what we use down here as well. Um, but now we're going to create a matrix with the fruit prices. So that's something different than what we created down here. Excuse me. So to create a matrix, we have the, the matrix option. Um, and then I'm going to explain these in just a minute after I run it. This is something that people were pretty confused about the first time I taught it. So I'm going to try to go pretty slow with this. So I'm just going to print this. So this is what it looks like when I use this function, but I'm going to explain this thing by thing now. So you'll see that this vector here, what is actually created, we're using that to create a matrix. So you'll see this value is 0 0.24. This value is the next one, 0 0.50. You'll see this one here, 0 0.87. So all of our values that are in here are now in our matrix down here. Um, so we are seeing that um, we are actually creating and making it a matrix. This is what was pretty difficult for people to understand the last time I did it, um, the by row part. Um, so first I'm going to go over the number of rows. So, so when you make a matrix, um, you specify the number of columns and the, the number of rows. Um, you have to specify one of those. So, so just mathematically, um, when we have we have six values here, if we say that the number of rows equals three, then automatically there's going to be two columns because three times two equals six. If I change this number of rows to two, that would mean that I would have three columns because three times two equals six. So that's why you only have to specify one of these. So it's going to read between the lines and fill in other things as we go through. Um, so if we specify three rows, it's going to look at the length of the vector we're using and then fill in the columns that would be needed um, based on the number of rows that you specify. Now this is the part that was pretty confusing the last time I taught it. So I'm going to show what these two different, uh, show both of these. So we have our matrix, we're calling it by row equals so what that means, and then I'll have you ask questions about this if you don't understand it once I go over this a little bit more. So the by row equals false. That means, it, and I'm just going to also show the difference here because I do think that that helps. I'll put this full code up online. Um, so I'm going to call it fruit matrix by, by row T. Okay, so we, I am now go, going to that one as well. So I think understanding this by row equals true or by row equals false is gonna be a lot easier when we look at the result. So let's start with by equals true. Um, it's the same code just with true instead of for our by row. So when we, the, the true is down here. So when we say by, by row equals true, we fill in each individual row and then we move on to the next row. So this value will be, that's always going to be one and one. So our first uh, value in our matrix here. So the second value is 0 0.50. So it's going to fill in the entire first row with these two values. Um, um, and then since we've specified that we only want two columns, then once that those in the first row have been filled in. Then it moves on to the second row. And then you'll see 0 0.87 and 0 0.30. It fills in that second row. Um, and then it moves on to the last row. So in the by row equals false that we're seeing here does the opposite. It fills in uh, the these first three values. It fills in the column, the entire column first. So you'll see the first three values are here. And then it moves on and fills in the entire second column. Um, so 
this is not what you specify, but you could kind of think of this. Um, it, it's actually written by row. That's what you have to write in here. But you can think of this if it's not in the correct syntax, but you can think of this as by row equals true and by column equals true up here. Um, you just have 